Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. These are hottest news from Crypto World. So if you want to be aware of everything going on in Crypto World, you're in the right place. Let's start. Ethereum lacks momentum about, so holders are still safe. Over the past two days, Ethereum has made several attempts to gain bullish momentum above the $594, $595 and $600 resistance levels. EDH was unable to continue its gains and mostly traded in a range above the $565 level. A recent high was formed around $593 before the price dropped below the $590 level. On the hourly EDH chart, the dollar broke below the major bullish trend line with support near $585. The pair even broke through the 23.6% Fibonacci retracement level of the upward movement from the swing low of $577 to the high of $593. Ether price is now approaching the support zone of $580 and 100 hour simple moving average. The 76.4% Fibonacci retracement level of the up move from the swing low of $577 to the high of $593 is also so around $580. Seeking to solidify its position in the cryptocurrency industry, Japanese financial giant SBI Holdings, through its subsidiary SBI Financial Services, acquires a UK-based B2C2 cryptocurrency trading company for an undisclosed amount. Development began six months after SBI signed a strategic partnership with the firm. According to reports, at the time, SBI acquired a monetary stake in the firm for $30 million as a first step towards future collaboration. The move Move to B2C2 makes SBI the world's first financial conglomerate to own a crypto dealing center. The partners hope this equation will serve as a starting point for financial initiatives, hoping to gain access to crypto assets. Ripple is working hard to increase the spread of cryptocurrency using the XRP digital asset. There was a break below the $0.45 support and the price settled well below the 100 simple moving average. A new monthly low formed around $0.43 and is currently consolidating losses. Initial upside resistance is at $0.46. The first major resistance is at $0.47. This is close to the 50% Fibonacci retracement level of the downtrend from the $0.59 high to the $0.43 swing low. Major resistance is now forming around the $0.50 zone. Also, on the 4-hour chart of the XRP pair, the dollar is forming a major downward channel with resistance around $0.53. If there is no wave of recovery above $0.46 or $0.47, there is a risk of another decline. Cynthia Loomis, newly elected senator of Wyoming, highlighted her upbeat stance on Bitcoin in a recent podcast. She hoped to introduce BTC to the state's sin as the she believes that cryptocurrency should work alongside fiat currencies. During a recent appearance on the Peter McCormick's podcast titled What Bitcoin Did, the host predicted that Loomis would become known in the crypto community as the Bitcoin senator. Loomis acknowledged that most government officials are vary of cryptocurrency, many because they don't understand the basics. That may change, however, and she plans to spend time with these people to help them understand how Bitcoin can work alongside fiat currencies. The USDC issued by Alers Company and cryptocurrency exchange Coinbase through the Center Consortium has added over $300 million in less than a week. On December 9th, Circle said in a blog post that the US dollar surpassed $3 billion in circulation, up nearly 500% in 2020. 
At the time, the company believed this was due to an increase in global demand for reliable stablecoins in US dollars issued by regulated financial institutions. In addition, Circle attributes the popularity of the USDC to the phenomenon of dollarization, which is the growing demand for dollar-denominated digital currencies. In addition, the DeFi credit markets, which recently surpassed $14 billion in value, are using the USDC as a loan and debt asset, fueling US DC growth. Link dropped in seven days due to beers hand butting. Chainlink is up a slight 1.3% on a slightly recovery in the entire crypto market since last Friday. Now the price is $12.6. Despite recent adjustments, Link is still looking bullish on the daily chart. It recently found support on an uptrend line drawn from the September low. Looking at the four hour chart, Link has yet to confirm new gains. Interestingly, however, buyers have shown interest in the last couple of days. Positive shift can be expected soon. Unfortunately, there is currently little buying pressure. The currency firm, which according to its website, had 20.3 billion bonds in asset under management as of 30th November disclosed the purchase in a notice issued by the London Stock Exchange on December 15th. Dependence on Bitcoin is currently equivalent to about 2.5% of the portfolio. We see this as small but effective insurance against the ongoing devaluation of the world's major currencies. Bitcoin diversifies the company's investment in gold and inflation-related bonds and acts as a hedge against some of monetary and market risks that we see, the company explains. It is currently unclear how many Bitcoins on the firm bought, but some math suggests the size of the mentioned small but effective insurance policy. According to press release, Riot is launching an 8 megawatt sub Merseyside technology test initiative to asset the potential to improve productivity and reduce mining costs in Texas. Testing is scheduled to begin in the first quarter of 21st. If successful, CEO Jeff McGonnell said the company plans to roll out diving on a larger scale over time, especially in warmer climates where cooling is a major concern. About a month before leaving the White House, President Donald Trump was reportedly considering a pardon for Silk Road founders Ross Ulbricht, who is serving double life plus 40 years. This comes at the Free Ross campaign picks up steam and many new people sign online petition to release him from prison. Founded in 2018, Silk Road has quickly become the largest online black marketplace for illegal drugs and other illegal products. It allowed users to browse anonymously, and Bitcoin became the main payment method. The FBI closed the site in October 2013 and the agency arrested the founder, Ross Ulbricht. Two years later, he received two life sentences without parole for and violent crimes. So guys, these are all news for now. Thank you for your attention. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel. Have a great day. Stay safe. See you soon. Bye.